This video will provide you with instructions that will help you to remove the ransomware called Linda. In the video you will find out why exactly the ransomware is called like that. You can clearly see that before the ransomware attack you are able to open your files without troubles. Unfortunately, because of certain vulnerabilities in the safety of the computer, in the protection of Windows computers, this Linda ransomware may be injected into the computer and then people realize that something bad has occurred and that they cannot access their files. This Linda ransomware encrypts the files and it's not possible to use them anymore. The ransomware then tells the victims that they need to pay a special ransom for file restoration. Well, this is what happens with the files. You can clearly see that uh, the ransomware appends this Linda extension after the files are encrypted. There is also some other uh, data that is added after the main file extension. For instance, some email address, some unique identifier, and finally this Linda extension. And this uh, happens with all the files that the customers uh, store on their hard drives. So no matter what files you try to open, this Linda extension is now added uh, to the documents and people see this warning that Windows cannot open this type of file. The ransomware also reveals this uh, ransom note that is called LOCO and it says that your files has been encrypted. Well, this is a serious mistake in English grammar, which means that uh, people uh, who have developed this ransomware don't know English very well. Anyway, uh, the ransomware tells the victims that they need to pay the ransom for file restoration and file decryption, but paying the ransom is not a good solution. This does not guarantee that the files would be restored. Uh, also, these uh, two email addresses are mentioned in the ransom note. So, what to do? I recommend you to, first of all, carefully check the task manager and if you find any suspicious processes with long random names, you need to terminate them immediately to stop the further file encryption. I also recommend you to remove this ransomware with the help of reliable anti-ransomware program. Uh, the program is called Combo Cleaner, but to download it you need to use Internet Explorer browser because other browsers and their desktop shortcuts may also be uh, infected by this ransomware. Go to the page combocleaner.com, combocleaner.com, use this green uh, download button, install the program and uh, then start researching your system with its help. The program should first of all update its anti-malware database for proper detection of uh, this ransomware. So the program is in the trial mode initially, only the quick scan option is available. Click on start scan button. The scanning itself will take some time. Uh, while the scanning is taking place, uh, please pay attention to the features of Combo Cleaner. For instance, there is a great feature called Anti-Ransomware, which allows you to add certain folders on your computer, and these folders and their contents will always be protected against ransomware attacks. So, Combo Cleaner works uh, exceptionally well, when it comes to identifying uh, the majority of uh, computer infections today, including adware, uh, browser hijackers, unwanted browser extensions, fake system optimization programs, potentially unwanted applications, and of course uh, ransomware. So Combo Cleaner not only removes uh, this ransomware, it also helps to protect your data from being damaged in the future. At the end of the scanning you will see the summary of the threads which were found and um, you will see the locations of these threads and um, 
basically uh, the only correct solution uh, is to remove this ransomware immediately of course we recommend upgrading to the premium license uh, by the way you may always request for the free trial which is uh, seven days and uh, this is the best way to remove this ransomware and um, by upgrading to the premium license uh, your data will always be protected from further ransomware attacks.